Hello, everybody. I hope you're doing well. Good afternoon. Um, welcome. Welcome to the uh, midday or afternoon edition of the Robocas webinar on Tuesday. My name is Gareth Jones. Hopefully you can all see the main screen at the moment that says from London to these five European cities in less than a day. And hopefully you can hear me. I'm not just nattering away to myself. If you could all do me a big favour. First of all, on the right hand side of the control bar, the control panel, you can see there's an area that says questions. If you wouldn't mind just popping your name in there. Let me know where you're tuning in from. Um, it'd be great to hear from you, uh, but also to make sure that you can all hear me okay and you can let things set up correctly. It all seems to be running fine my side. I'm up in York at the moment, so hello all from York. Um, it's pretty grey, not as horrible and wet and windy as it was yesterday, but certainly missing last week's sunshine. Emma in Bedford, you're the first one up. Two points for you. Thank you very much. Nice to hear from you. I'm glad everything's working for you. Uh, Graham in Harrogate, lovely. Oh, very nice, just down the road. Yep, yeah, good to hear from you. Um, Loads of you weighing in now. Good stuff. Thank you very much. Um, that control bar, that, that question's bit everywhere there. It'd be great. Uh, Elkie, thank you very much from the West Midlands. Glad to hear all's working well. It'll be great. Throughout the webinar, please make use of that. It's there for a reason. It's there for questions. This webinar is for you guys to answer any questions you might have along the way. If while I'm nattering away, Something I said doesn't make sense, let me know. I'm more than happy to go over it again. We'll also have a dedicated five minutes at the end of the webinar to answer any questions you might have then as well. But please do make use of it. Um, but without further ado, let's get started, shall we? There we go, it's working good. That's me, uh, Gareth Jones. I'm the product manager of Railbookers. So I'm the guy who, before COVID 19 lockdown, was out and about with the trains quite a lot, meeting hotel suppliers, partners, um, sightseeing partners, etc., having a hand in putting all these great holiday packages together. Since the lockdown, my role's changed, of course, quite a bit. I'm still kind of managing the product and doing the best I can on that side, but also presenting these webinars for you guys, which I'm thoroughly enjoying. Uh, it's been great fun. Also, don't look like that too much anymore. I've made the mistake of asking for a quarantine haircut um, from my wife, so desperately need to get a bar to a barber shop at some point. Um, Mike, sorry, hopefully everyone can see the images, uh, the screen, it's working, seems to be working here, Mike, so play the system your end. Um, also on that control bar, underneath the questions area, there's a little bit that says handouts, please open that up because in there, there are three little docs for you to download and save or print off as you like. One of them, uh, which I think is the best of them all, is a European rail map that we put together and it's yours for free. So I said, click on it, um, right click and save, save it to your laptop or your um, your tablet or print it off however you like to use it. But we'll have a look at it short in short as well. What we're going to talk about today, what we're going to talk about. So starting um, your holiday from any UK station, first and foremost, we'll go over that. Um, a few of the main destinations, only a day's ride or less from London. Where, how, how far can you get in one day? Limited time offers. We've got some great special offers, which we'll mention towards the end of the webinar. Um, weekend getaways, not just looking at the sort of the summer holidays, the two week sort of trips, but just looking to get away for a couple of nights. Uh, but also what are European rail operators or rail operators throughout the world really doing to provide a safe environment in today's world? If some of you are not familiar with Railbookers, this is quite helpful. If you are familiar with Railbookers, sorry to go over this again, we'll be short. But, um, who are we? What do we do? Um, we provide holiday packages, including confirmed seat reservations. We have access to nearly all uh, train seats or train reservations before they're made available to the public so we can get in there and get those best seats reserved for you. Sightseeing activities. I think a good example here is a destination like Rome. If you go into Rome, you want to go to see the Colosseum, you want to go to the Vatican Museum. These places are very busy. Big queues outside, including in our holiday pack, included in our holiday packages will be perhaps a small group tour, a private tour if you prefer, um, but skip the line, meaning you don't have to queue up. You avoid those queues, you get in there, you maximise your time on holiday doing what you want to do, not stuck in a queue for hours on end. Hotels. We don't just sell train travel, we sell holiday packages, including train travel, sightseeing experiences and hotel accommodation. Um, the joy of travelling by train is, of course, generally city centre to city centre. The hotels um, ranging from three star up to five star might be a short walk from the station. I mean, in Europe, it's great. Historically, the train, the area around train station never been the nicest, really. Things are changing in a lot of cities, you know, take King's Cross in London or Paris Garden Nord. 
millions of pounds or euros been spent in terms of um, rejuvenating these areas and that's happening in a lot of European cities so it's actually quite nice to be by the station sometimes um, walk out the station with your bags over the road and there you are if the hotel is a little further away we'll advise you of the best most convenient way to get there by public transport or we can all provide you with a private transfer so your own private driver waiting for you when you arrive um, waiting for you at the end of the platform or a pre-organized place outside the station whisk you away with your luggage direct to your hotel. Ferries, um, Switzerland is a good example, some amazing kind of beautiful picturesque scenic cruises across Lake Geneva, Lake Lugano, Lake Lucerne of course, um, but also as a functional transportation uh, device. From the, We've got a great holiday package going from Scandinavia and Russia where you take the ferry from uh, Stockholm to Helsinki, the overnight ferry connection. Excursions, again Switzerland, um, some kind of Amazingly scenic mountain railways, cable cars at the tops of the mountains, but even as diverse as um, Krakow, going up to the Auschwitz camp and the salt mines, or even Aix en Provence in France. You want to get see those beautiful, fragrant lavender fields when they're in season, July and August. Uh, we can organize trips out there. And overnight rail journeys as well, nothing more um, fulfilling than the sense of adventure on a sleeper train. Uh, just the functional side of it, getting from city to city, traveling overnight, arriving in the city in the morning, maximizing your time there. But people like Austrian Rail are doing some great work, just bringing back some sleeper train routes, which about 10 years ago, a lot were cut in Europe. But now they're bringing back the Brussels to Vienna is a really popular route. Now, I've just heard recently that perhaps in three, two, three years time, there's going to be a Vienna to Paris train. Um, the joys again the social distancing as well in this new world where we have to pay attention to these things having your own cabin not socializing not sharing any space with any other passengers having breakfast brought to you in your cabin as i said you'd, you'd have to worry about having dinner the great thing about traveling by train you can take a picnic with your bottle of wine and enjoy the view have a good night's sleep wake up in the city you're traveling to and why do travelers love rail because uh quite a few reasons bucket list experiences for special occasions so a couple of things here bucket list experiences not just the venice simplon orange express and all the luxurious private trains but some of the scenery that you see on some of these train journeys you can't see any other way they really are bucket lists sort of the way the only way to travel the California Zephyr train across the US, for example, it really goes places where you can't get to any other way. It really does. Some amazing scenery that you only see by train. Freedom and flexibility. You're not traveling as part of a group. It's independent travel. You don't have anyone waving a flag telling you where to be. Um, you've got to abide by what time your train is and what day you've got reserved in the hotels. But that's about it. The rest of the time, pretty much you're up to your own devices. You choose how you want to enjoy your holiday. Uh, the scenic way to travel, we've touched on it. You're all here um, in the Rail Booker's webinar. You'll appreciate one of the key joys of traveling by train is enjoying the scenery as you go along. Um, and key, I think, really, is all our itineraries are customizable. I'm never quite sure, sure if that is a real word, to be honest with you, customizable, but it means that all of the holiday package, can, packages can be chopped and changed or altered to match your requirements. Um, Hotels, as I said, we have a selection of three star up to five star in pretty much all destinations. You can change the class of travel on a train to first class, one particular train if you want, or all of them. You can add in a destination, take nights away, add more nights in. You can even come to us and say, these are the places that I want to visit. Please help me put together a holiday. We can do that. Uh, deposit now, pay later. Very small deposit, generally £150 per person. Um, and then the balance isn't due until two uh, three months prior to the start of your trip um and that's that space of time the cost isn't going to change either we've guaranteed you that price um from two days to two years our holidays go anytime any day anywhere and they do we, we guarantee holiday package prices out two years from now so 2022 june 2022 we guarantee that package price small deposit that price won't change but also if you want to travel closer to uh closer to now as well um if you're looking to travel two to three days prior to departure Give us a call. We can get it all in place, get the travel documents to you in time. Um, quickly touch on the maximum flexibility offer we have in place. I think it's very important in these times. Any new reservations made before the 30th of September this year, 
essentially if you need to change the travel date or postpone your trip um, you can do with no additional charges from us and no change fees until uh, up to five days prior to departure that's the same for anybody with an existing reservation as well if things take a turn for the worse or for whatever reason you need to change the dates you can do so with no worries about an additional charge from us up to five days prior to the start of the trip <coughs> excuse me um Normally, uh, what we still do, we still have the offices, but um, everyone in the company is working from home, of course, at the moment. But throughout the world, we have office, the main office in London, uh, Beverly, just north of Boston, Toronto, N Laguna Hills, just south of Los Angeles, lovely corner of the world, and Sydney, Australia. We have offices there. We've got staff on the ground. Wherever you are in the world on a rail workers holiday, you have an emergency contact number. Whatever the time, wherever you are in the world, you can contact a member of our staff to assist. And this is the map that you can download for free in that handout bit. I said, it lets you see, it looks quite fun. Um, all those different colored lines, different rail operators, different booking systems in effect, really. So trying to put together a trip, taking in lots of different countries, very, very difficult trying to do it on your own. We really do take the mystery out of it. Um, we're direct partners with a whole host of rail operators throughout the world. A lot of the time in many countries, we have access to these train seats a year or two years in advance whereas most booking windows made available to the public are up to six months in advance now so um some key points to point out here i think it should say via rail in canada the national rail operator in canada obviously that iconic journey the canadian from toronto to vancouver four nights on board the train just due to political differences between the states they can't agree on how to run the train so they're not going to run any sleeper trains this year up until the end of october um, I wouldn't have thought many people would be looking to book a trip this year up till uh, October, but it's best to pe make people aware that end of October, that's when they're thinking to actually kind of start launching that train again. Um, but elsewhere, we're hearing good news as well. I mean, Norway, which had said they're going to clo close their borders until the end of August, actually saying they're opening up until the end of July now, so actually open to travel again, which is great. Um, and tying into the rail side of things, what are rail operators doing to maintain a safe environment? A lot of the time that very similar stuff as i'm sure you'd imagine so requiring facial coverings and stations and on trains for passengers and staff across the board and um, stopping the sale of food and drink on board trains now this is where different countries are dealing with it differently in germany for example the ice trains the high speed trains there they're keeping their buffet cars open um so you can go there and get a coffee or a beer or a sandwich or whatever and they'll serve you obviously for contactless payment no cash or anything but it's certainly open in Switzerland, on the scenic trains, the Glacier Express, for example, they are still serving food on the Glacier Express. But it's freshly cooked. It's served to your seat. So you're not kind of queuing or anything like that. Um, other, other countries, if, if, if they're not selling, the buffet cars are closed. Spain, France, for example, and Italy. Um, a good point in Italy. Sorry, I should have touched on this first one as well. A good point in Italy. Train Italia is a great rail operator. Um, one of the good things of Italy is, of course, fantastic rail network. And what they've done with the, the high speed trains between the big cities, Frecciagenta, Frecciarossa trains, every passenger gets a travel bag, like as very much as you used to on an overnight flight. And on in that bag, there'll be some hand sanitizer, a fresh, a clean mask, and a clean sort of covering to put over the head of your seat. So it's completely clean for each passenger as well. Um, the changing seat configuration allocation on board to for low social distancing. So on the whole, trains are travelling roughly at 50 to 60 percent capacity. Now, again, it's sort of opening up and those things are changing very rapidly uh, due to the situation, of course. In France, for example, the French unions, as they do, had words with the government and said the government cannot legally tell them not to run their trains at 100 percent capacity. So SNCF have decided can now if they wish to if they choose to they can increase the capacity as they choose so they may be increasing it from 50 to 60 percent but on the whole um, most rail operators still sticking to that kind of 50 percent capacity which if a good point to mention kind of the difference in first class and second class here in first class you wouldn't really notice it that much there's simply less seats in first class anyway so much more space between each passenger and first class than there's to be in standard class in general 
Uh, of course, increased cleaning and sanitation, not just at the start and the end of the trip. They've got more staff on board the trains going through and cleaning, sanitising the whole train throughout journey, throughout the journeys. And contactless ticket control. I think we all need to get used to waving our mobile phones around uh, to scan a ticket rather than actually physical tickets in hand as such. Um, we know because we go, just a little tagline we put together, because every year, apart from this year, sadly, um, we ensure that all of our staff, every member of our staff, throughout all offices go on one of our experience one of our trips they go on a on a rail because holiday and it's where we've had some of the best feedback in terms of improving our uh, packages and holidays as well um it's great i think it's really valuable uh from a customer's perspective to know that anybody you may speak to at rail bookers in any um circumstance be it um the sales guys on the front line or in the accounts team in the offices deep down the back and they all know what they're talking about they've all experienced what we offer um i said it's valuable i think very valuable anyway let's have a look at some holidays shall we let's have a look at some holiday packages so first up we're going to spain barcelona and madrid london to barcelona leave around about 9 20 9 30 in the morning you'll be in barcelona by half past eight in the evening with a change of trains in paris a change of stations as well in paris so in paris you're getting to Gare du 99% of the time you'll be leaving from Gare de Lyon. Um, it's two stops on the metro for about half, 20 minutes, half an hour drive, depending on the traffic, of course, in a cab. So it's very easy. Um, hotel we feature in Barcelona, we based package and we have a great selection of hotels in Barcelona, but the hotel we feature here, the package is based on the Barcelo Sants, which is actually a lovely four-star hotel right on top of the station. Um, it's not noisy, you don't know you're on top of the station, of course, but in terms of convenience about arriving at half past eight in the evening it's ideal it really is um also to get around barcelona and elsewhere you're at the station you take the train then to uh, Plaza de Cat catalonia uh very easily you're on the, the hub of the metro system ideal three nights barcelona including skip the line tickets to the sagrada familia then up to uh, take the direct high-speed train to madrid the ave service wonderful wonderful service one of the fastest train lines in europe barcelona madrid um three nights here and you also got the hop on hop off tour to get around madrid as well um and then the package is based on a flight back so with the pack with the flight back starting price just under 1180 pounds per person if you want to take the train back again absolutely fine no problem the quickest route probably be coming back to barcelona and doing it in reverse as you have done there are some other kind of um, longer, more fun, should we say, options in terms of Madrid going over to Lyon um, or Madrid up to San, um, San Sebastian and hopping over the border there and things like that. But if you were to take the train back, you're probably looking more £1,500 per person. It's obviously, it would be an extra night as well. Um, Barcelona, Madrid, again, both destinations. It doesn't really need too much description, really. I think we're familiar with should be Barcelona, just the wonderful joys of... Uh, Gaudi's architecture, etc. But the Madrid, the food in both of them, um, just the food and wine, the dining experiences, amazing. I, I love Spanish cuisine. I really love it, and I think I really do think they're both fantastic. We've got a great kind of private food tour in Madrid that goes to the, some of the local tavernas, um, which is a really great experience. It's only about four hours. Again, you're traveling probably groups of up to eight people. Um, really lovely experience, just getting to know the kind of local experience. Now, a bit closer to home, so less kind of train time as such, but Paris, Brussels and Amsterdam, um, eight nights, just under a thousand pounds per person, including all the rail travel. Um, hotel stays now, hotel stays include breakfast. Uh, we'll see in terms of what happens with hotels and breakfast buffet breakfast further down the line but on the whole breakfast hotels are managing it very well um a lot of them are saying okay we're not doing the buffet breakfast but we'll kind of deliver breakfast to your room so in a way um room services includes a very nice kind of upgrade in a way but i think everyone's waiting for the dust to settle and see what happens really in terms of that buffet breakfast experience but with all the hotels that will be included wherever possible um Three nights in Paris, you can skip the line Eiffel Tower and the Seine River Cruise as well. Two nights in Brussels, beer tasting. If 
beer is not your kettle of fish don't worry there's plenty of other things that we can include here as well and then also going up to Amsterdam where you've got the kind of boat tour down the canals and hop on hop off bus tour see those amazing merchant buildings if you want to go to the Rijksmuseum Museum as well we've got skip the line tickets there we can add in and part of that great package as well is that direct train that now runs from Amsterdam to London so really easy no need to change on the way back um the service between Paris and Brussels as well it's called the Talis train T-H-A-L-Y-S very much like the Eurostar so first um, modern high-speed trains first class and second class available uh, yeah really comfortable and you actually get a reserved seat as well next up Avignon and Nice now getting down to south of France sadly Eurostar have announced recently they're not going to be running their direct Eurostar from London uh, down to Avignon and Marseille this year or next which is really sad but understandable I guess in the, in the situation but otherwise it's still very easy you can change trains in Paris again from Gare de Nord over to Gare de Lyon direct high speed train ground down or Lille um, which is only an hour and 20 minutes from London you'd have to change stations in Lille as direct trains down to the south of France from there not as regular and still a longer journey time but you avoid the need to change stations as you do in Paris. No difference in terms of cost either, the different ticket costs, apart from when it comes down to if the train's lack of availability. Um, two nights at Avignon, get to skip the line ticket to the Palais de Paps, the uh, Palace of the Old Popes and the Pont Avignon, the Avignon Bridge. And then Nice as well, you've got a Nice city tour, which is ideal because there's a lot, Nice has a lot to offer, not just the beach, but the old town kind of alleys and nooks and crannies and things like that going around there but actually the hills the mountains above nice as well some of those mountain villages where some of the art the famous artists kind of used to live at the beautiful views across the bay so five days four nights five days in total starting just under 800 pounds per person that's including the rail travel and all the experiences as well um that that's the palais de paps as well he said it's a really very very old <laughs> I really should know more more date specific, I guess, but extremely old. And it's inside. It's not as well. Uh, it hasn't it hasn't survived particularly well. But they have a great experience. It's beautifully laid out with huge rooms, and you get a real idea of the grandeur of the place. But um, it's not sort of swinging chandeliers or anything. But what they do do is you get an iPad when you go in, so you can kind of look through the iPad and look around and get a full 360 experience of what it used to be like. So the the, the glory of decorations and the actual kind of wall um, coverings and things of what it used to be like so it's a lovely experience and it's a beautiful building it's huge as well Avignon's quite small and it really is the center point of the of the town um, and the bridge in the bottom um, it's half a bridge um, again medieval bridge it's only survived half of it so it's pretty impressive and it's lovely it's a real you know this it's the charm of Avignon is this sort of rich history that it has also the wine in the area as well and um, we do offer some wine tours heading out into the vineyards and things like that as well for maybe an extended stay um and going down to nice i said it, it, it's great that the tgv network in france is so good and so great but when you get to marseille the line from marseille across heading east along the Côte d'Azur it's not it's particularly high speed so the train it does take a couple of hours or an hour and a half to make that journey but it's really lovely scenery really does follow the coastline along so it's a beautiful journey down there and of course you've got as mentioned the old town uh, which is beautiful colorful in um kind of area in nice beautiful kind of food markets on a regular basis down there but also the promenade des anglais and the beach of course so you know nice bit of sunshine as well you know it's nice to get a bit of sunshine and be able to dip your toe in the mediterranean Now something a bit closer to home, Scotland, Scotland, uh, and sleeper trains, the joy of traveling by sleeper train as well. And it's got the Caledonia sleeper in it, uh, heading up from London. Again, key here is we run this to and from London. If you want to take it from anywhere else in the UK, no problem, give us a call. We can sort it out for you. You don't have to come down to London and then go back from, um, like me, from, for instance, from York or uh, Graham and Harrogate, for example, you would have to come down to London. We'd make sure you kind of made your way from Harrogate up and back down again. But if you wanted the full Caledonia sleeper experience from London up, any package uh, where we've got grand or call it a, a grand named package, it would include first class travel. So 
this one is based in first class travel on the Caledonia sleeper in club class where you get breakfast included. It's on suite as well. Um, four nights at Inverness, plus all the experiences going out to the Isle of Skye, experience Loch Ness and go out to see the Urquhart Castle there as well. Um, so really kind of jam packed and really good fun stuff and amazing scenery like this up in Inverness. Sometimes I think we forget how beautiful Scotland is in certain areas. Um, and then first class on the journey back down as well. So London traveling on LNER, you get a meal and you get drinks in first class on the way back. The Caledonia Sleeper, brand new train serve. It was old, old train service, of course, but brand new actual train as of last year. So beautiful kind of interior. Um, had some problems when it first started running in terms of time and stuff, but really good service really really good service and i said the package is based on club class where it's still the it's still the bunk beds but you get a lot more room on suite facilities and you get breakfast included in the cost as well um you could have dinner that night or again i think part of the joy of traveling by train is you're able to take a picnic with you um so whether you stop off at um the local marks and spencers and pick some bits up with a bottle of wine or you can make some sandwiches and a flask of tea before you go either way it'll be a lovely love journey And then something a little shorter, a city break down to Bordeaux. Um, that was there were a whole range of city breaks across all the major destinations, not just in France, but elsewhere. Um, that really similar to Dijon and city break and Annecy as well, getting to Lake, down to Lake Annecy. But Bordeaux, I think, is good to highlight um, not just the destination itself, which is beautiful. I mean, Bordeaux is often referred to as being the most beautiful city in France above Paris just because it was kind of untouched during the Second World War, etc. Also, the train service, the line between Paris and Bordeaux was kind of um, improved three years ago, I think. So now it's a case of three hours from Paris to Bordeaux. That's sort of that's not far off London to Edinburgh distance, which four hours at the best of times in the UK. So really super train experience. And then Bordeaux at the end of it. Gorgeous, gorgeous city um here as well. Sad we haven't got an image of it, but you've got tickets to the Cité de Vannes which is kind of a hybrid of a museum experience, exhibition center space. It's like a Guggenheim design building, really futuristic and pretty impressive setting by the river. It here, it's got the biggest collection of world wine in the world, and it's across from across the world as well. So not just Bordeaux, wine from Bordeaux. Um, but of course you can get a fair old tasting or two there. Um, understand more about the world of wine there's a nice cafe restaurant at the top to get spectacular views across the city and you can get a nice boat trip up there along the river um, it takes five minutes to take the boat up there but a lovely way to get there i think so a little activity but then bordeaux itself has said beautiful grand buildings really good art galleries and things there's the reflecting pool which i wish we had an image of i think there is that actual fountain there is at the center of the reflecting pool but at night, it's a beautiful panoramic image of these kind of huge, great houseman style buildings um, and reflecting in the water. Gorgeous, but yeah, really lovely. Just two night getaway, um, three days in total. And let's just have a look at some other packages closer to home um really easy so lake como and the banana express um and normally i rattle on, on about the banana express because it's the most most scenic journey in europe i'd say and my personal favorite but this is again lovely journey to get there plus three nights relaxing on lake como you can the 1199 pounds per person price includes the flight back from milan you could easily have a night in Turin and then to come back by train. Um, you'd be back in London by half past seven that evening, so not too bad in terms of getting elsewhere. Um, but the Benina Express from Coeur in Switzerland down to Tirano, from some of the highest peaks of the Swiss Alps down this, um, eventually it turns into a palm tree lined valley in Northern Italy. It's gorgeous, really is really special. Uh, Venice via the Alps, um five nights just over 700 pounds per person including the flight back via the alps is a series of holiday packages we have where essentially a, the most one of the most scenic routes into italy um london to geneva in a day changing in paris leave london about 
half past nine, get to Geneva about six, seven o'clock. Direct train from Geneva to Venice going via the Simplon Pass. And this is where the Venice Simplon Orient Express gets the Simplon bit from. It's this beautiful scenic train journey through the mountains, skirts by Lake Maggiore as it comes before it comes into Milan. After Milan, it kind of skirts around Lake Garda before it goes into Venice. Venice via the Alps includes three nights in Venice. We have Rome via the Alps. We have Florence via the Alps. We have the Amalfi Coast. Hundreds of destinations in Italy. You can take the via the Alps routing, changing in Milan and going down. So again, it's that joy of combining a beautifully scenic journey with a spectacular destination for three nights as well. Uh, I hope you can all hear me well. Fear we have the ice cream van turning up outside, which I think is uh, a sort of strange time to be doing it when it's raining, but we can't complain. Um, Switzerland's lakes and mountains, uh, one of our best selling holidays as well. And it is, it's got the tour de force of the Glacier Express, the Benina Express, the Golden Pass, which are three of the most scenic train journeys in Switzerland, if not Euro Europe itself. The Jungfrau Railway, the highest railway station in Europe. So beautiful day trip, a kind of three train journeys up a mountain, three train journeys back down, each one changing in um, gradient to the last one into the mountain, actually going into the mountain. When you get their views across France, Italy, Germany, truly spectacular, you've got a glacier at your feet. Um, and of course, the lakeside setting, Montreux, one of my favourite cities or towns, really. Um, it's kind of synonymous with the glitz and glamour of the jazz festival, but it's a beautiful place right on the lake. You've got Chillon Castle, just a little walk around the lake. Um, incredibly relaxing place to be. Some really good vineyards um, just next door as well. Some really good local Swiss wine. Uh, and finally, Bruges and Ghent. Our old friends, Bruges and Ghent, not too far away. Valde, they really do have a lot to offer as well. It's not just beer and chocolate, but some beautiful architecture, truly beautiful architecture. It's not just about the Christmas markets as well. Um, they're lovely places to stay and spend a couple of nights any time of the year. Well, I hope they've whetted the appetite. Now, please let me know where you, you're planning, you, you, where you're thinking of going on holiday, but also, where would you be interested in future webinars being based that we're being focused on i mean we do a lot of them once every week we do them i'll let you know which ones we've got coming up soon but um it's so exciting again at the moment to kind of see that the world's opening back up again slowly the last trip i was on i said was in spain i was in barcelona and cordoba and seville so much to offer that area it really does um and the joys of Scandinavia. Scandinavia has been really popular over the past few weeks, actually. People looking to get up to Scandinavia next year. We've got a great range of holiday packages going up there. As I said, keep going as far as the um, Baltics, even going up through to Russia, St. Petersburg and coming back from Moscow, but also kind of specific ones. Norway particularly is one of the most beautiful scenic journeys. Uh, I mentioned some offers. Now we've got some big special offers. So these ones are very special. These ones just up until open till the end of the week. Um, saving £300 for any Scottish package. £500 on the ultimate Scandinavian Grand Tour. That's going up to Helsinki. £400 per couple on the Grand Nour in a nutshell. £300 on any Switzerland holiday per couple. And so these are just offers which is up for any bookings made by the end of the week. So any deposits paid, no matter when you're traveling, um, you'll be making these savings. Brussels, any holiday featuring Brussels, 300 pounds for a couple, uh, 400 pounds for a couple, and any Spanish holiday as well. We've got a great, huge range of Spanish holidays. Prague, 300 pounds per couple, any package including Prague. Um, we were featured in the Times, the travel, travel supplement over the weekend, and it mentioned our Prague city break, which is a great city break actually. You take the train to Zurich and that night you take a sleeper train, really great sleeper train from Zurich waking up in Prague the following day. So a lovely kind of Prague at the end of it. Great travel experience as well. And Canada, getting up to Canadian Rockies next year, say £400 per couple. These are some of the nice thing, publications that have said nice things about us. We were very happy last year, at the end of last year, to be rewarded say rewarded but more awarded sorry um the best rail holiday company overall winner 
at the British Travel Awards, which we were up against some pretty strong competition. We were very, very happy with that, voted for by the public. So thank you very much. And if you haven't, please do have a look at the website. That's where you'll see everything we've spoken of today, um, but also many, many more. Click on the destination, see all the places we have holidays. Check out special offers because there's more. And if you like brochures, uh, we can have some brochures for you as well. They haven't got the 2021s yet because the printer roller simply stopped uh, rolling, um, but they're going to start again soon. So we will have some 2021 brochures lined up very soon. You can just find the place on the website brochures, pop your details in and we'll have you on the mailing list. But Railbookers, which is the worldwide holidays across the world. And then via rail vacations, Canadian specific and Amtrak vacations, US specific holidays as well. Um, so next week, next week's webinars are based on the top five destinations across the board. The following week, uh, seven destinations in France beyond Paris, and so not just Paris. That'd be interesting. And then the following week after that, it's Switzerland. So seeing it routes around Switzerland. So please make a note of those. We'll probably email you details as well. And again, if you want to attend one, pop your details in. And that's our slot. When you're ready, we're ready. That's me in the bottom, right in the bottom left with the two little girls who are being kept very quiet by their granny downstairs. We're very thankful for all that noise and banging on my door. Um, any questions? 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 Um, Doris, single travellers. Absolutely sorry. Yes, all the, the offers are off, open to single travellers as well. I think it's silly to mention per couple, uh, but certainly kind of same savings uh, for individuals as well, solo travellers. So. Absolutely. Alki, thank you very much. Good point. I mean, it's somewhere, sadly, I've never been, but the Isle of Skye, Alki's just pointing out to everybody that it's worth actually staying there for two or three extra nights to see more. A very special place. And a lot of time, it's true, it's true. A lot of these, a lot of places really do warrant staying longer. I completely agree with you. Um, particularly, I mean, places around Switzerland as well, for example, Lucerne, which is one of my favourite cities in the centre of Switzerland. It's a great destination. There's so much to do in that area that it really warrants staying at least kind of three or four nights just to experience the area surrounding itself as well. It's so easy to do certain things to go kind of experience things, get some amazing views from mountaintops and things like that. But you have to be there a little longer. And again, we can factor that in if you want to stay somewhere for a longer period of time, no problem. Brian, absolutely, yeah. So things like the Orient Express, um, the private trains, that's probably that is the best one in Europe. I mean, there is a private train, the Transcantabrico, which goes throughout Spain and across the, well, it's got a couple of different routes across Spain throughout the year. There's also some fun journeys, the um, which run around Budapest as well sometimes, very limited, but there are some great Golden Eagle journeys. But then of course, there's the private Golden Eagle train, Trans-Siberian across Russia. Um, and the Rocky Mountaineer. The Rocky Mountaineer is quite different uh, in terms of being a luxury service. Yes, it's luxury service, but you don't actually sleep on the train. You don't sleep on the train, sleep in the hotels. Graham, how long is the journey to Berlin? Good question. Great question. So Berlin, uh, leave London around about 10 o'clock in the morning, um, change in Brussels, change in Cologne, get to Berlin around nine o'clock at night. So it's a fairly lengthy journey. Again, there used to be a great sleeper train from Paris uh, to and from Berlin. Um, it used to be fantastic. So obviously, if you don't want to do it all in one day, you can stop off for a night in Cologne, for example. It has a lot to offer, not just the cathedral, but um, there's a lot to offer by the river. Um, but yeah, that would be it. Again, it's we... Travelling in first class would make a difference on that route, I would say, the same for a journey of that size, particularly in Germany, where, yes, you don't get a meal included, but the difference in terms of upgrading, it's not that great, to be honest with you, but the difference in comfort is noticeable. So much bigger seats, much more leg room, much more space.
Uh, Tracy, no, thanks. Yeah, good question. Now, there's no cost in terms of getting a quotation. Um, you can drop us an email. Um, we'll we can do something for you. It's always best to give us a call or drop us an email. We can arrange someone to give you a call back. We always we much prefer to be able to speak to somebody, speak to people, speak to customers. That way, we can make sure that what we do is right and get exactly what you're looking for. But there's no additional cost included cost to get a quotation or anything. No, no. And uh, yeah, that's right. It, uh, sorry, if you were to make a change to a package, so add, uh, adding a night on in a hotel, for example, yes, it would be the cost of the additional night at the hotel, but there's no additional cost. It's not a case of fifteen pounds per change or anything. No, no, no. All right, well, thank you very much, guys. I mean, it's been great. It's always great. We have lots of questions coming through. So thank you, everybody, for getting involved. I really help, hope, I really hope it's helped um, in terms of your holiday planning. Um, feel free to let me know of any kind of questions you have at any point specifically. You can email me, gareth.jones at railbookers.com. Um, also, you'll be getting a recording, I believe, of the webinar as well, just so you can follow up with any bits you might have missed. But thank you very much for joining me. As I said, I really hope you found it helpful. I hope you've kind of enjoyed it. Enjoy the rest of your day. Take care, everybody. Thanks a lot. Bye-bye.